Queens, how you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great. My name is LaQuinta and this is The Sweet Life of Queen. If you are new here, welcome. If you are oldie but a goodie, welcome. Welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great night. So I'm getting ready to run to the grocery store. I am running super duper late. Um, <laughs> it's Wednesday and y'all, I worked the past couple of days, 12 hour shifts. I could not get out the bed. I was trying so hard, but it just was not happening. Finally got out the bed. And now I'm going to go to the store. I'm going to try to bring you guys with me. But again, I'm kind of, I want to go in and out. So if I don't bring you guys with me, I will definitely show you a haul when I get back. And yeah, I'm not going to be for you long. So stay tuned if you want to see tonight's dinner. I'm just making some stuffed bell peppers. Haven't made these in a long time. And I just had a taste for them. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know. Comment down below. And let me know. Avery's crying because she knows I'm getting ready to go. Avery's our pup. <laughs> she wants to go with me. So, but if you guys are new here, um, let me know. If you guys, anybody, just comment and let me know um, what you would like about what you see tonight. And I will talk to you guys in a bit. Okay? Bye. Hey guys, so I just went to the grocery store and I'm going to show you a quick haul. I didn't film in the store because my phone kept ringing. So, yeah, <laughs> I was trying to get in and out because I wanted to come home and cook dinner. So, we, um, I went actually to get some ground beef and, a, and cream cheese. I was going to say sour cream. Cream cheese and ground beef because I forgot to take the ground beef out for tonight's dinner. So yeah, so of course I picked up extra stuff. My husband called, he wanted some hot dogs. So he's the only one that really eat, eat hot dogs here. So I got him a couple packets of that. Um, I got some Polish because they're on sale. And this is my favorite. This is my favorite brand of Polish, Scott Peterson. I bought some Italian sausage. I bought some breakfast sausage, the links and patties. I like patties, my husband likes links, but we eat whatever. I bought some tomato sauce for tonight's dinner as well. Um, some syrup, a roast maybe for Sunday's dinner. I'm not sure yet. Uh, down here, I bought some catfish and some beef steaks. Mexican style layer bean dip, just a snack on at work and some chips to go with it over there. Some regular potato chips. I got some storage bags. What are these called? Freezer bags. Okay, y'all, I can't even think tonight. Slow cooker liners because I want to try it when I make this roast. Um, I usually don't use it, but, you know, my family don't like doing dishes no more, and I have to, so. <laughs> yeah. So I bought another bag of cheese. You guys already know I always like the Mexican blend. Whenever you can use cheddar and sharp, I just get that kind. I mean, I do buy them both, but... I got some fajita seasoning mix because I just seen this recipe I want to try soon. And while well, I was getting the all juice for the pot roast over there, uh, I just went on to pick that up right now. And I got some brown gravy. I got some cream cheese, some bread, hot dog buns, bagels. Of course, my favorite little cookies that I don't need. <laughs> they are so addicting. And some corn tortillas because um, I might be making some flautas which is fried tacos, so I'm not sure yet, but, so that's my little haul, nothing, it's not too much, not a whole lot, but it's enough. <laughs> Let's cook, guys! So we have our ground beef with garlic and onions and seasonings. We also have instant rice because y'all, I don't know how to make regular rice, okay? And I use one cup of that with our ground beef. We have our bell peppers. I used that half bell pepper for something else, so I just wanted to go and use that part. Tomato sauce and shredded cheese. So we're gonna take the tops off and clean out the seeds in the insides. And we're gonna hand wash these when we are finished. A lot of people like to use the tops, I do not, because I add cheese on top, which you will see shortly. Boil the peppers um, to get it nice and soft. You can use chicken stock or water. I'm just using water right here. I'm gonna 
add a little bit of tomato sauce at the bottom of the pan so it don't stick. And we're gonna mix, do our mixture with the rice and the seasoning. Ground beef, the tomato sauce. You can use more if you need and mix it well. We're also gonna add our shredded cheese. Yum, you guys know I love cheese. Our garlic powder. Stop your mama's seasoning, but you can use whatever kind of seasoning you want to use. <laughs> and I'm just adding a little bit red crushed pepper that is optional, just for a little kick tonight. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. That's how it should look. And we're just going to stuff the bell peppers with our rice and mix mixture. <laughs> put it all the way in. Sometimes I use a fork to make sure that it's pressed down at the bottom. And we're just going to continue to do that with all of the peppers. Yes, I can't wait to try this. It's so good. I'm just going to top it off with some cheese and we're going to bake it in the oven for four, on 400 until it's hot and bubbly. Yummy, delicious stuffed bell peppers, the quick and easy version. It looks so good. I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> Tonight, we're keeping the setup a little simple. I'm just using a cheetah plate with my blue plate. Hey guys, so I'm doing something totally different that I never really do. And you know who is by me because she knows I'm getting ready to eat. But tonight, I just wanted to sit in front of the TV. I never do that ever. So I wanted to eat tonight in front of the TV since it's just me eating tonight. And I am watching some YouTubers and just relaxing. So have my pepper. It is really good. <laughs> I really look like I know you're going to give me some. But... I added onion in here so I forgot to um, save her some rice before I mixed everything together. But she had her food in there. Plus, I brought her a dog treat. Even though she's not going to want it because she wants my food. <laughs> you want it? No. She's trying to bury it. She don't want it. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing great. hope you guys are having a great evening. Um... I just want to watch TV tonight, so I <laughs> hope you guys don't mind. I just want to do something different, and tonight, like I said, I made the stuffed bell pepper. I kind of overcooked it a little bit because it was also Bible study. On Wednesdays, we have Bible study. Stop trying to bury it. Just eat it. And I just have some water here. But yeah, so it's Bible study, so I was just all into it and totally forgot i was cooking so yeah i kind of overcooked a little bit but it's still good <laughs> y'all avery's gonna be like the biggest scratch so now y'all can see this is what happens when i'm in the kitchen eating she's usually on the floor so you can't see her and i give her stuff but she don't want it and yeah so anyway lots of people do their stuffed bell peppers um differently this is how I do mine. I know my sister used to make them too, and she would add spaghetti sauce. I just use tomato sauce. A lot of people use chunky tomatoes. I just don't like the texture of chunky tomatoes cooked. I eat tomatoes raw, but I don't like them cooked. But it's not dry. I added a little crushed red pepper, and then I added some of that sloppy mama, which made it a little... It's not spicy, but it has a kick. So if you don't like spicy, omit that. Just use regular season salt or whatever. Um, you gonna lay down now? Okay. So, but the flavors are really, really good. I didn't show when I made the uh, when I did the the ground beef, but I did use season salt, garlic powder, black pepper. I think I use, yeah, I put garlic and onions in the ground beef. So even when I use the, um, even when I use the, uh, 
minced garlic, I still use garlic powder. I just love garlic, y'all. I, I, vampires will stay away from me because, I mean, I don't believe in that, but I'm just saying. Because <laughs> I love garlic. I love garlic and cheese. I think I showed it, but I did boil the peppers a little bit to get them kind of soft because you don't want to eat a hard, hard pepper. So you want to boil it a little bit just to get it soft. And yeah. Y'all see how she keep looking at me? <laughs> this is what I literally go through every time I try to eat dinner. Every time. Can y'all see her? <laughs> this is what I go through when I eat dinner. I brought her another one. She still have food in there. I don't even know why I'm doing this because she still had food in there that she did not eat. She's looking at me because she thought I'm going to give her some. This is just a napkin. There's nothing on it. Nothing. <laughs> she know. She already know that I always share my food with her. So that's why she's looking at me. But like I said, I forgot to just leave her some plain white rice. I didn't put no salt in the rice. So I meant to leave her some and totally forgot. Usually when I make this too, I have extra meat left over the meat and rice and it's also good by itself so if you don't like peppers it's just like you can make a quick meal like that actually i used to make something similar without the stuffed bell peppers um when i worked at daycare because you know most kids don't like stuffed bell peppers but we made a rice actually it was pretty much the same thing we did cut the bell peppers and put it inside so it was like bell peppers and onion um the meat and rice and tomato sauce. Yeah. What I y'all I'm flashing back to my daycare days when I used to work at Grace. Woo. Y'all who know, you know. <laughs> but yeah. She used to call it California style beef and rice. It was so good. And we will serve it with um green beans, a fruit, and buttered bread. Yes. It just brought back memories. Y'all, how did I forget that? Because I used to make this all the time. Because my husband didn't like bell peppers and my kids was little. So I would just make the rice and the um, ground beef. And just pour tomato sauce in it. Or tomato juice. I think we used tomato juice back then. Girl, I'm talking like 15 years ago. Maybe longer. I started working at that daycare when I was 18 and then I ended up cooking <laughs> so I worked in the preschool class and I went to the baby room went back to the pre preschool class and um we was having a hard time finding the cook so I ended up cooking y'all used to have to cook for 60 people excuse me 60 people I thought I was gonna go crazy but it wasn't bad it wasn't bad I finally got the hang of it and yeah, I told y'all I've been cooking my whole life. <laughs> I just don't, like, you know, show it. But I've been cooking my whole life. I cook for that daycare forever. And the staff, if they're watching, because a lot of my friends still. Um, on Fridays, we used to have breakfast. I cook the staff breakfast. Like, the kids, you know, they would have their own breakfast. But I would cook, like, bacon and eggs and stuff for the staff. They be waiting for Fridays. <laughs> And then my boss, she um, she didn't like to get up too early, but she would come in a little early so she can get some breakfast. <laughs> Boy, that's about bad memories. Oh yeah, we call it California style beef and rice. So, but yeah, this pepper is really really good. Um, I guess I could have bought it a little bit more. I mean, it's fine for me, but like other people who might eat it. I don't know. I, I like mine's kind of crunchy a little bit. And sometimes I do boil it in chicken stock. But I didn't have any, so I just boiled it in water. I mean, you can be fancy like that, but whatever. <laughs> Y'all, this little girl, she gets on my nerves. But yeah, I'm so glad you guys are joining the family. Um, I won't be on too much longer. I just wanted to eat with y'all tonight. Do something different. I'm trying to make sure there ain't no onion in here. This girl, she's so spoiled, y'all. She's so spoiled. 
Bigger biscuit. She don't want that. <laughs> Well, anyway, guys, I'm not going to hold you guys too much longer. But I do thank you guys for your comments and your suggestions. And um, I had a friend today give me some suggestions of video ideas to do. I appreciate it. Thanks, Lillian. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to be working on some more stuff. Y'all, this is just me. I'm, I'm just going to keep it how I am. This is how I am at home. I'm chillax. I'm not finna like front for the camera. That's not me. That's not my style. So I hope you guys <laughs> like it. <laughs> but, um, you know, I get a little nervous because I'm not a cooking channel. And uh, you guys like the cooking videos. And I talk to some of you guys in person who watch my videos, like my co workers and stuff, and my friends. And they all, and my cousins. And they all was like, no, we like when you cook. <laughs> but one of my friends, she was like, no, because your recipes are so easy. So that's why we like it. So I'm glad that you guys would like it and you guys are watching. Right, this is what y'all watch the most. <laughs> well, anyway, I am almost finished. I've been eating a lot lately with y'all. <laughs> so I'm going to really close this out. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Again, if you like this, please give it a thumbs up. It does help my channel when you guys thumbs up or comment on it. So please comment, like, share it if you want to. If you want to share this recipe for, with someone. Um, yeah, it's, it's a lot of variations to it. Everybody do it differently. This is how I do it. I keep it as simple as possible. So until then, I will talk to you guys later. You guys have a great night. I love you guys. Be safe and stay warm. Bye. Can you say bye?